Hi, welcome back to another episode of The Vit Nerd. Uh, today we're gonna have a little fun. I bought these six cartridges on eBay a number of weeks ago. I haven't even opened the box yet. Uh, it's not that it's fun because there's games or whatever in it. It's that the seller says, and uh, let me quote here, uh, these are non-functional. He literally says, I've tested each one of these and was not able to get any of them to work. Uh, maybe you'll have better luck or can use the cases uh, or maybe some skeet shooting at the next vintage gaming meetup. So uh, I took this as a challenge. Um, I ended up getting them for 11 bucks. So at worst, I'll have some empty cartridge cases. Uh, but more so what I'm curious is I've bought a lot of game cartridges. I, I have never had one that didn't work. How does somebody have six of them that don't work? So maybe they just need to be cleaned. Maybe somebody scarfed the ROMs out of them. Uh, maybe they were in a flood. I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, let's open the box and see what we got here. Kind of saved this for this video and forgotten a little bit what's in here. Try not to cut them. And wow, how much tape is on that? Okay. Uh, seems to be packaged, packaged well here. Uh, we've got. Uh, Quicks, Robotron, and this uh, packaging is pretty good. Pole position, Pac-Man, uh, Basic, who, who doesn't love playing that game, and Demon Attack. And I might be able to guess why this one might not have worked for them. Oh, I forgot it came with some pamphlets, manuals. In case I forgot how to play Demon Attack. Okay. So, let's see what we can get working here. Start, well, let's start with basic. I figured these probably need to be cleaned, but um, I, I, I don't want to do that yet. I want to go ahead and try these just right off the, yeah, should have turned that off. Right off the bat here. Well, run nothing, and it's ready from nothing. That works. So there's a working non-functional cartridge. Okay, that clearly is not working. So we'll put that in that pile. That's not bad. Let's see if that runs. Prepare. Yep. Not bad. So we're two to one. Uh, that clearly is not working. Oh, wrong file. Nope. And this one, well, I'll give it a try, but it's not going to work. Yep reason why for that one okay so basic and pole position were working although I'm gonna try that one again so put pole position aside and let's get some cleaner here I'm gonna need to open this up here 
some alcohol wiping. A wet cleaner here. And then buff that off. The contacts look rather worn on this. Okay, let's try that one again. No. Time to grab a screwdriver. Time to grab a smaller screwdriver. <laughs> oh, that, oh, years of that one stuck in the plastic. These uh, earlier cartridges were always the best to just simply open. Well, we've got uh, the one ROM. Let's go ahead and use the flathead. Let's just gently pry that up a little bit. Now I'm wondering, because there's two sockets in here, if it is missing a ROM. Can't imagine they spent the money for the second socket when it didn't need it. And you know, put this on so the plastic part doesn't jump out. No, nah, reseating that didn't work, so okay, quicks. Quisks not work. Okay, Robotron. 2084. Let's get that cleaning fluid and clean that up. These are just uh, one up mini cards. You put some uh, alcohol on there and the fluid side probably doesn't make a difference. They label it so you don't get fluid on the dry side. Okay, dry those off. Let's find out. Well, if it's supposed to be black like that, it's working. But it's not supposed to be like that. Okay, so uh, well, let's open that one up as well here. Okay, two socketed ROM chips. Oh, sorry, not socketed, soldered in. Um, that's what I expected out of the other game, but, uh, so there's nothing to reseat there and it doesn't look bad inside. Well, two don't work. So maybe I've just got some extra cases there. Okay. Pac-Man next. Contacts look better on this. Okay. No, it's doing the same thing. Uh, pretty wild what it's doing. So, so far we're three for three. Well, almost, what, two and a half for three? Still gotta do demon attack.
and curiosity. Well, well let's try that. Two socketed ROMs this time. Just gently put a flat head in there and just lift it up a little bit. And firmly press down. Maybe do the other side. Any oxidation or anything between the metals meeting. Usually that will give it a cleaner connection. And fingers crossed. Nope. <clears throat> wow. So we're three for three. Pac-Man, Robotron, and Kicks. I, uh, Quicks, couldn't get running. Pole position works. Basic work, but, you know, I got a question on that. And, uh, Demon Attack didn't work yet. And that's because... You need one of these to play Demon Attack. Now, of course, you can do an emulator, or there's translator discs. There's uh, hacked versions of Demon Attack uh, that will work on Atari 800XLs and XE gaming systems. Um, but the old original ROM only worked on the 400 and 800. So let's take this. First off, I want to make sure the XL didn't just accidentally start basic for me with its built-in basic. So let's try this. Since the Atari 800 has no basic in it. Okay, there we go. So the basic does indeed work. And I'm just going to guess Demon Attack is going to work. Yep. So nothing wrong with Demon Attack. It, maybe something wrong with this. Huh. Oh, still plugging into the 800XL. So uh, that's user error. Um, so there we have it. Well, that was a 50-50 outcome. Uh, I even took an extra step and tried this Deoxic Gold Contact Cleaner. Uh, not only on the card edges, but on the socketed ROM chips. Took those out, cleaned them up, put everything back together, and the Pac-Man Kicks and Robotron, none of them work still. So I've got some empty cartridges, I guess. Uh, but the other three, Basic, Pole Position, and Demon Attack, worked fine. So for $11 plus a, a few bucks shipping, that's not bad, three working cartridges. Uh, let me know in the comments what your luck has been with trying to get non-functioning cartridges work. Uh, until next time.